Hey everybody, Jake Baldino here. E3 2015 is right around the corner, so of course we gotta make some predictions. Okay, so here's what I got. Of course, this video is coming out about a week before E3 and new stuff is being dropped all the time because now people like to announce things before E3. So if any of this gets updated, I apologize. And maybe I'm right about all these things, but let's get into it. All right, at the top of my list, I'm gonna start very easy. And I'm gonna say that there is gonna be a big Call of Duty presence this year. Of course, yes, that's easy money. But I think the big thing that Call of Duty is gonna focus on this year and the thing you have to watch for is that Treyarch is gonna focus on what makes this new Call of Duty completely different. Early previews and information about Black Ops 3 have all pointed to the the fact that they are trying to make this game finally different. They're really trying to shake up Call of Duty once and for all. So I think we're gonna see a lot of stage demos and gameplay demonstrations that focus on that. Next on my list, I have something that Ubisoft is gonna announce, a new Prince of Persia. Yes, it's been a long time and I think we're way overdue. And there is some writing on the wall. We had some leaked concept art a few years ago and Ubisoft is working on something called Hero. That's the project name. And I think it could be Prince of Persia. It's one of their biggest properties and they haven't used it in a long time and it just makes sense. Also, disclaimer, I am a Prince of Persia fanboy, so I really hope it happens. Now, Every once in a while I pretend to be an actual real video game journalist and I keep my ear to the ground and I hear a couple of things. And what I hear is that we're actually gonna get another Final Fantasy game this year. Not Final Fantasy 15, not another expansion for Final Fantasy 14, just another Final Fantasy game. That can mean a million things. It might not immediately mean Final Fantasy 16, but that is a thing that is most likely happening. What we are going to see is more prevalence of VR, specifically in Sony's court. That being said, virtual reality presentations probably aren't gonna do very well on stage. It's, kind of, it's probably gonna be pretty awkward, but they are going to talk about it. They are gonna get serious about it. I think they are gonna really announce a release date and a price. That would be nice. I didn't mean to make that rhyme. Another bullet point on my list, Fallout 4. Of course, it has been announced. We have seen the awesome trailer. Everybody has. We know we're gonna see more at Bethesda's conference, but we are gonna get a release date, and I think it's coming out in the fall. I'm just looking back at history and how Bethesda likes to do things, and they like to announce and release, and I think it's definitely happening. We're gonna be playing it in our hands this fall. And now we're halfway down on my list at number five, and it's gonna be Gears of War. This is gonna be the year of Gears of War. This year, we're finally gonna get our first glimpse at the new Gears of War that we've been waiting for for a while, being made by Black Tusk Studios that has now been renamed. Not only that though, we're going to be getting Gears of War HD. You guys have seen the leaks, you guys have heard about these murmurs for months, it's definitely happening, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And that's cool, I'm really into a Gears of War collection, it just makes sense with another one coming out, they released the older ones, you know, it's gonna be HD, it's gonna be 1080p, it's gonna be 60 frames per second, all that stuff, so cool. Maybe it's in better condition than the Master Chief collection. Now this one might be reaching a little bit, but I do think it's, it's gonna happen because Bioware isn't working on anything else from what I know of, we'll get to that later. But Mass Effect 4, I think we're gonna see a little bit of game play here. EA has its own presser this year and it does have a lot of things to show, but I think they can cram in a little Mass Effect gameplay there. I would really like that. I know a lot of people would really like that. And last year they showed so many games that they were just making of developer videos. We got to see a video of a guy modeling a stormtrooper or a Mirror's Edge level. This is the year where we're actually going to see stuff, so I really hope we see something from Mass Effect. We're down to number three on our list, and this is a personal favorite of mine. We're going to get Crackdown 3 gameplay. We saw it announced last year at E3 2014. This is the year where we're going to get an actual glimpse at it, and I can't, I can't wait. That better happen, Microsoft. That better happen. I am betting money on it, but it better happen. Now, the last two items on my list are very interesting. I can't say too much about them for sake of, of ruining things, but I, I do have sources. I, I can't cite them, of course, but we are going to see a lot more Star Wars this year, specifically a Star Wars RPG. I can't really nail it down for sure if it's the game that Amy Henning is working on, even though I think that's likely, or the Visceral game, but I've also heard murmurs of Knights of the Old Republic's name being brought back. And that kind of makes sense because, like I said, right now, from what I can tell, Bioware is only working on Mass Effect 4. Hmm? Hmm? But regardless, I do think we're gonna see a lot of Star Wars this year. This E3 is gonna be the year of Star Wars. Of course, we're gonna see Battlefront gameplay, and I think we're gonna get two new Star Wars games announced. Call me crazy, call me crazy, but hey, you can watch this, come back, tell me if I'm wrong. And last but not least on my prediction list, I'm sorry I have to be very cryptic and vague about this, but there's a good chance that a game that you thought was canceled is gonna be coming back from the dead. Yes, it's going to be resurrected, and a new team is going to be working on it. I can't say what game it is, but you should be thinking there's at least two or three games that it could fit that mold. So take that for what you will, guys. I know a lot of you guys are pretty good with the analysis and stuff. Throw that shit on NeoGAF and Reddit. See what they think. The gauntlet has been thrown, but most importantly, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this stuff in the comments. Do you think any of my predictions are going to reign true? Do you have similar predictions? Let's talk about it. And also, feel free to call me out on Twitter if you think I'm wrong after E3 happens, at Jake Baldino. And of course, if you're new and you had a good time with this video, maybe click the like button because it helps us out. And subscribing is even better because we do videos like this, we do lists, and we're working on some new giveaways. But as always, guys, I'm Jake Baldino. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys at E3, and we'll see you next time.